Hello everybody and welcome back to the third video in the image recognition and manipulation tutorial series where we left off we were looking at that array and in this video we're going to take a bit more closer look at it again and explain a few more things in the array and then we'll go ahead and get started with actual uh, manipulation and stuff. So here's the array again and uh, um, just to say it again the whole thing is the image broken down is the rows right these are the rows and then you've got each pixel in that row and it's you know horizontal right pixel pixel and each number within here corresponds to red green blue and then this is your alpha and it, again alpha is like fade basically or, or um, how solid is that that picture so if so or color rather so if you have um, a very low alpha it's very see-through right transparent that's the word I'm looking for transparent so anyway uh, that's what alpha is now the next thing that we might want to consider is why 255 what the heck is that talking about well in programming everything is is counted not starting at one but it starts at zero so actually these are all 256 so this just means the image was saved as a 256 color bitmap not to be confused with like a 256 bit image, right? So, so like if you think about um, a 16 color bitmap, that means it, it only allows like 0 to 15. So 16 total colors, which is actually quite a few colors. Uh, so that if a 16 color bitmap will give you as many as 4,096 colors, 256 colors. Uh, will give you obviously a much larger, right? Because it's basically your options are 16 times 16 times 16, right? So that makes 4,096. With 256 colors, it's 256 times 256 times 256, which gives you basically 16.8 million colors that you can choose from. So obviously there's a lot more depth to your colors, but I'll be also honest with you, if you look like a, a, like a non-zoomed in uh, picture, and one uses uh, the 16 by 16 by 16, right? So 16 color bitmap versus the 256 color bitmap. Even though there's right a massive difference in colors, it's kind of hard to tell the difference, anyways. But um, that's neither here nor there. But I'm just explaining what these numbers are. So moving right along, next question that a lot of people are going to have is why is this RGB and not RWB? Or WP. You know, why is it not RWB? That's a good question. Why is it not red, white, and blue? Anyway, why is it RGB and not RYB? Having a really hard time putting that out. Right, so why is it, you know, aren't we taught like an art class, right? Three primary colors that make all the other colors red, yellow, blue, right? So why are we, right, red, red RGB is red, green, blue. So why are we doing that? Well, a little bit of history for you guys. And I bet some of you guys probably know, but it boils down to the difference between additive colors versus subtractive colors. Now, what we're dealing with is additive colors. So as you add more of that color, it actually like makes it brighter, so to speak. Whereas if you uh, consider like back in art, right, in paint class, if you had a green, right, say you were painting some green and you paint a stripe of green, and then you paint another stripe of green over that previous stripe, it makes it a darker green, not a lighter green. And But if you took like a flashlight and you put over like a green, let's say saran wrap that was green, and you turned on that flashlight, and then you got another flashlight and did the same thing, it would make that green brighter, right? It wouldn't make it darker by adding more. So it's the, the addition of light behind it. So that's why like, um, well, first of all, like white has all the colors in it, right? So pure white we know this is white because it's 255, 255. So it's all of red, all of green, and are all of um, blue, right? So we know this this is actually white, and it's a solid white. Not that even alpha of white wouldn't really make a difference. But anyway, um, unless it was laid over something, I suppose. Um, so and that's why like sunlight, for example, is mostly white because it has all of the colors in it, and that's why it is um, it's an additive, right? And conversely, uh, right where we've got zero, 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 this means there's nothing, nothing, and nothing. There is nothing there, and it's got an, a full alpha, so it's a solid, you guessed it, black. 
So, so that is additive uh, versus subtractive colors. And then the reason why we're using this in computers, now you could do it either way, really, computers, because it's just straight up just generating this stuff. But it just kind of makes sense to make it additive instead of subtractive color schemes because um, you're, everything you do on the computer, you're viewing it through a monitor, and the monitor is basically a, a light that is shining this stuff to you. So, so that's kind of why we're using RGB. So the more you know. So uh, the next thing that I would like to do is, uh, this was just dot, right? So we see 000, 255, and then we've got all these other 255. So if we closed out of this, and I think I stuck it in that file. Let's, uh, let me pull that up real quick, the images. Yeah, I sure did. So in the images file, we had dot, and then there's also dot and dot. So if you go edit that, you should get this. And then if you zoom in, you'll see there's one black dot and then there's this one green dot. And let me just grab the pencil and come over here to the green. I use this green. So if we edited that color, we can actually see down here the red, green, and blue value of this uh, green dot. So it's 3417776. -7 so if we uh, close out of this, and just remember it's dot and dot, and we change this to not dot dot png, but dot and dot dot png, run it, and come over here, scroll back to the top here. We still have that black dot, right? And then sure enough, we've got 34, 177, 76, and then a full alpha. So obviously, solid green. So I realized too, some of you guys that might sound, might have been like painfully slow and you already knew everything I just told you. But um, if, if you're uncomfortable with the idea of transferring an image to an array, right? And it's an array of red, green, blue, and alpha, at first, that's very confusing, and you've got to kind of situate yourself to look at this and see it, right? So unless you're from the Matrix, you probably don't, like, look at this array and be like, oh, okay, I see that. It's a black dot and a green dot, right? <laughs> but now, now I'm slowly converting you guys, and pretty soon you'll be able to look at a, an array and just be able to see the image, you know? So you don't even need images anymore. You just need the arrays. And you can just, like, look at it and be like, that is beautiful. That's a good idea. I bet you could do, like computer artwork or something, right, and just make it the array, and then uh, put, like, the array up on the wall and make people look at it. That's just beautiful. Anyway, I bet there's someone that really can, like, look at the array and know what the picture is, but not me. Anyway, um, so that's going to conclude this video. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.